Major revelations today from the FBI director on Capitol Hill and the White House could not have liked what it heard. The Trump presidency is two months old, embroiled in controversy, and likely to stay that way after the news that broke today. Watching the president at another of his campaign style rallies, you would never know he had just had his worst day in office. For the president who refers to stories that his campaign may have worked with the Russians, quote, fake news, things got very real Monday. I have been authorized by the Department of Justice to confirm that the FBI, as part of our counterintelligence mission, is investigating the Russian government's efforts to interfere in the 2016 presidential election. And that includes investigating the nature of any links between individuals associated with the Trump campaign and the Russian government, and whether there was any coordination between the campaign and Russia's efforts. The FBI director confirming that an investigation has been going on since last July. Another Comey bombshell on Trump's unsubstantiated tweets accusing former President Obama of tapping his phones. The FBI and the Department of Justice have no information to support those tweets. Monday's hearing also featuring real-time fact-checking thanks to social media. The president's official account tweeting out during the testimony, the NSA and FBI tell Congress that Russia did not influence electoral process. Some members of Congress reading the FBI director the tweet. It, wasn't, it certainly wasn't our intention to say that today because we don't have any information on that subject. Republicans, meantime, look to spotlight the leaks that have led to embarrassing news stories for the administration. Some of that may rise to the level of a crime. Some of it does not rise to the level of crime. One thing you and I agree on is the felonious dissemination of class, classified material most definitely is a crime. No word on when the FBI will wrap up its investigation, though it seems likely to overshadow this administration as it tries to pass a replacement for Obamacare, pass a budget, and get its Supreme Court nominee confirmed.